Pain feels physical, sharp, burning, real. So we assume it must come from damaged tissue, but neuroscience shows something unsettling. Pain does not originate in the body, it originates in the brain. There is no single pain center. Instead, pain is constructed by a distributed network called the pain matrix. This network includes the thalamus, somatosensory cortex, insula, anterior cingulate cortex, and emotional processing regions. Together, they decide one thing. Is this sensation a threat? Nerves in your body do not transmit pain. They transmit signals, pressure, temperature, chemical change. Pain only appears when the brain interprets these signals as dangerous, and sometimes, it makes that decision without any injury at all. In conditions like phantom limb pain, the limb is gone, but the pain matrix remains active. The brain still expects input, so it generates pain internally. This happens because the brain prioritizes prediction over accuracy. If your brain has learned that a region is dangerous, it will produce pain to protect you, even when the tissue is healed. Over time, neural pathways strengthen. Pain becomes memorized. This is called central sensitization. The volume knob of pain is turned up not in the body, but in the nervous system itself. Stress amplifies this system. Fear feeds it. Attention locks it in place. The pain matrix does not ask if damage exists. It asks if danger is expected. That's why imagined pain and physical pain activate the same brain circuits. The brain cannot tell the difference. Pain is not a measure of injury, it is a measure of perceived threat. Your body may be safe, but your brain believes it is not. And when the brain decides danger is present, pain becomes real, with or without damage. Pain is not lying to you. It is protecting you based on flawed information. Until the prediction changes, the pain continues, because pain is not in your body. Pain is a story your brain is telling you to keep you alive. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more amazing science videos.